Okay, so in this video today, I'm going to be doing a new Windows 10 laptop setup. This using a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 computer, which I bought the other day. So I'll be guiding you through the process step by step. So by the end of the video, you'd have gone through the initial setup and you should have been able to log onto your machine. But before we jump into the detail, if you're new to this channel and you want help solving your tech related questions like this and on other types of tech, start now by subscribing to our channel for our regular how to and product review videos. Okay, so let's jump right into the detail now and get this Lenovo laptop set up. Okay, so with the power cable plugged in here, as you can see, and also the mouse plugged in here, we're now going to go ahead and turn on the computer or the laptop. So if we go to the button and turn it on. So it's a pretty straightforward process setting up the laptop as you'll see today. It's just a case of following some methodical steps. And I'm going to point out to you basically some of the key if you look, parts that you need to consider when actually setting up the laptop for like for whether or not to have a Microsoft account, etc. So let's start. OK, so it's asking us a few basic things to get out of the way. So where's your home region? Uh, so where's your country home region? United Kingdom, correct? Preferred app language English? Yes. What keyboard would you like to use? United Kingdom and also set your time zone. So you just need to set them according to where you are in the world and what your preferences are. So if we click on next when that's done. OK, so now it's asking to pick a network and to go online setting up this device. So basically what you need to know is if we go ahead and connect to a network today, it will ask us to create a Microsoft account. Now, basically, that's something that we wish to do today. We're a heavy Microsoft user within our family, um, so we like to access the full range of apps, etc. So Hotmail, Skype, OneDrive, we've got Office, for example. So another and another reason for wanting to do this is you can actually sync across all your devices. So, for example, I use a laptop when I'm out and about and I also have access to a desktop. So it's great that you can actually sync the information. So you basically can log on to either, well, I can log on to either machine or you, or you can log on to different machines with your Microsoft account and it will basically sync the information and the settings. And also we've got a lot of photos that we take. So again, it's great to sync the photos to one specific place. Now that's what you do if you actually connect to Wi-Fi. The other option is to skip this step and now if you don't want a Microsoft account and you want a local offline account, this is something which you do here, skip the step. Um, I guess this option is more for people who have a standalone PC, they don't need to sync across the devices and they don't want any access really to apps or programs in the Windows Store. So that's probably a reason why you'd skip that particular step. Now Microsoft has made this a bit easier recently with updates where you can actually skip this step and create a more local account for your computer. Um, but obviously you can still log in, you can access system resources, customize settings, etc. And you're able to use a more traditional standalone apps like Mail and Calendar. But obviously bear in mind, if you don't have a Microsoft account, you won't be able to sync across the devices. And don't get me wrong, that's it's not for everyone to have a Microsoft account. Some people want it for sort of other apps, maybe non-Microsoft apps. We're now going to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi network here. So if we type in the password, and if you click next, and just wait for a moment while it connects to the actual hub itself, to the Wi-Fi hub. Okay, so when it's connected to the Wi-Fi network, it's saying just a moment. So it's just a case of following it through the different steps. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you want to um, use this, that's absolutely fine. So what we're going to do is disable this because it's not something that I wish to use, but it is something which some people use. So again, it's down to personal preference. So if we click, just put the volume back up. If we click actually on disable voice control, 
OK, so it's asking us to select our region now. So United Kingdom is correct. So if we select yes and again, it just goes through the process. And the keyboard is this the right layout. So what we're going to do is select United Kingdom. OK. And do you want to add a second keyboard? No, we don't. But obviously there is a facility to do that. So so if we skip that step as well. OK, so now it's saying I have some important information to set up to do. So again, just keep following the process through. OK, now it's quite normal for the computer to look like it's rebooting or to chop and change throughout this setup process. So that is totally normal. OK, so the Windows license agreement appears as it does on all PCs and laptops, etc. Just have a quick check through this and obviously make sure you're happy with it before proceeding. And when you are, just accept the license agreement, of course, if you wish to. And again, it goes through the process. So what we're going to do is you can either sign in with your Microsoft account or you can create an account. So what we're going to do today is create a new account. So we'll just go through that process now. And if we put a password in there today, so if we just select a password that you want. Okay, and when you've done that, if it says, would you like information from Microsoft, etc., about products and services? Now, privacy to me is a big deal, so I don't really want any information on that. So obviously it's your choice. So I'm going to uncheck that and make, and when you click next, it says that you agree to the privacy statement and services, Microsoft services agreement. So again, just check you're happy with all of that before proceeding, okay? Now it's asking to enter your country and region. So enter the relevant information. So obviously put your country and then your date of birth. When you're happy with that, click next. OK, so you can add security information. So security info helps to protect your account. The users to recover your password, keep hackers out of your account, get in if it gets blocked. So we are actually going to do that today. So if we select United Kingdom and then we, you put your phone number in. OK, so if you select next. OK, so you can create a pin. Um, what takes seconds to create and gives you fast access and sign in. I've done this on my other computers. So again, that's quite useful to have. So I'm going to create a pin. OK. So. If we click OK when that's done. OK, so do you want so do more across devices with your activity history? It basically asks if you want timeline and other Windows features to help you continue what you see you're doing even when you switch devices, send Microsoft to activity history, which includes information about websites and browse data, etc. So again, it really depends what you want from this. But we're going to click yes for the purposes of today because syncing and basically set, if you like, synchronizing information across devices, etc., is important to us. So if we click yes. OK, get instant access to Android phones, photos, text, notifications, and more. So I'm actually going to do that later. So we click that, but obviously you can do that if you've got an Android device. OK, so back up your files with OneDrive. So the good thing is you can actually use a device with a peace of mind. Your desktop documents and pictures folders will be backed up in OneDrive. We already use OneDrive already across our devices. I wanted to create a new user account today to show you the process involved. So I'm actually not going to do that on this particular occasion today. So I'm going to select only save files to this PC. OK, so make the most of your 365 with a free Microsoft 365 trial. You can try it for free if you want to, um, but because we already have an account and we'll be logging in later with another account that we have, I'm not going to do that today. So I'm going to put no thanks. Digital Assistant, it talks about Cortana. I guess it's similar to other digital assistants out there, helps you provide information, etc. Looks at voice output, speech and handwriting patterns. I'm not a personal fan of this, the digital assistant, so I'm going to decline. But obviously, if you're happy with that, accept it. OK, and do more with your voice. Basically, 
choose your settings and select accept to save them. Again, don't use online speech recognition. We're going to select that. But obviously, if you want it, you can select online speech rec um, recognition. So if we just accept that, let Microsoft and apps use your location. You can either say yes or no. Again, I'm, as I said earlier, quite a stickler for the privacy. So the least information I give out, the better. Basically, if you want location based experiences like directions, weather, etc., then you'll need to accept it. I'm not particularly bothered about that, so I'm going to select no. And find my device. Again, it's not something that I like particularly. So by selecting no, which I'm going to do, I won't be able to keep track of your device if you lose it. That's not a concern to me. But obviously, if it is a concern, you want to be able to track your device, select yes. OK, selling diagnostic data to Microsoft. Again, privacy is a big thing for me, so I'm just going to choose to send any basic information. And improving inking and typing. So basically, Again, I'm not going to use data to help improve language recognition and suggest capabilities of apps. So I'm going to select no, but if it's something we should do, feel free to do so. Get tailored experiences with diagnostic data. OK, I'm going to select no. OK, let apps use advertising ID. So you can choose settings, then accept to save them. Check the learn more for information. So if you want to select yes, apps can use advertising ID to provide more personalised advertising in accordance with the privacy policy of the app provider or no. OK, so the number of ads won't change, but I guess they'll be less relevant to me. So I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to accept no, put no. OK, so if we you can protect your device, this is a, a Lenovo specific thing. So I'm going to do this now. OK, so if you select next. OK, so protect your device. So add this device to your Lenovo ID profile for faster support, information updates and access, access to exclusive features and apps. So it's not something I'm really interested to be fair with you. So I'm just going to leave all of those unchecked. So there's no sharing of information there. OK, so it says it's almost done. We just need to go through a few more things to get polished up for you and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. So again, it's quite a long winded process, but once it's done, it's all set up and you're ready to go. So it's now a case of just waiting for it to get everything ready for us. So it's just a case of now letting the computer go through its process it might take several minutes. It says you mustn't turn your PC off at this point. So just let it set up the configuration and the desktop will appear shortly. OK, so it says it's almost there. OK, so the desktop has appeared with all of the settings that we put in. And your computer is now ready to go. I've also put together a video for you on the first things you should do with the new Windows 10 laptop after you've done the initial setup. Here I share a bunch of useful tips. You can click on the links appearing on screen now. Alternatively, if you want to see some other useful PC related videos, I've also put together a playlist for you. You can click on the links now. But thanks for watching our video today on how to set up a new Windows 10 laptop. We'll see you on the next video.